We're so excited to be back again on your TV screen. Welcome to another episode of Reality Check with your favorite gang. My name is Sarah and I'm, I feel really good to be here today. But I'm not alone. As usual, I have Debbie. Hi. Who What's joins up? us every week. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we've also got the rich man, the richest man in Lagos State, I dare say. Femi Daniel. I like this also, mm. by the way. Uh, Thank you. What is part of this one I wear? Uh, <laughs> copy. DJ copy? Yeah. This pink. is not pink. It's pink. Now. It's, Does it get this, pink? This like this? orange to no, me. No, man. no, no. It's mauve. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Now to our special guest of the day, someone who I really love. If you watch Reality Check, you should definitely know who this person is. He was a contestant on The Voice Nigeria Season 3. I'm talking about Dakbo! Yes! That's what, it? What's, what's the deep side for that? <laughs> oh, we're doing the Ronaldo. <laughs> uh, the Ronaldo celebration! <laughs> the, 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 the shift is like, it's, uh, it's been a long time. Um, Having, um, having wanted to be uh, here, you know, but um, I'm here, finally. Okay. Um, it's really nice to be um, in the same space with you beautiful people. Aww. Rich man, my account details coming through soon. Orange. Please charge in dollars. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, today we're going to be talking about a lot of things, finding out what um, Dakwa has been up to alongside other reality shows that we need to talk about. So stay tuned. Joining us as special guest on today's episode is Dakwa Pelma, one of the finalists from The Voice Nigeria Season 3. All right, Dakwa, so it's been one year since The Voice Nigeria. What's been up? What's been happening? I mean, yeah, The Voice Nigeria um, did its bit in, you know, shaping me, um, molding me, and um, giving me a new definition to what I really wanted to do, which was music, as against studying mechanical engineering and oh. you know, working in that line for like a bit. Um, I went ahead to solidify on my training as a vocal trainer and coach, and um, you know, I got I got um, I got into a, an organization where I train people to sing. I, um, I'm not, I'm more like the voice doctor. So, what did you pick from being on the Voice Nigeria oh, well. that has helped you or that is helping you right now? Mm, so, I think the very one thing that I've taken from the Voice is um, more about my performance. Okay. I mean. To be honest, let me just drop all the um, humility aside. I've always been a good singer. Like, mm. yeah. Mm. Humble but, brag. I mean, <laughs> humble, brag. <laughs> humble brag. But he's not lying. He's a very good singer. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but my performance um, has not not always been A class, B class, you know. Mm. But I had um, I had to be on the tutelage of people like Fowles, mm. Diary. Mm. I mean, who had, um, I have always adored Diary from the times of you're not the girlies to know. Aww. You need to hear me do that song, you'll cry. You, 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 you do you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. You cry. No, you want to cry. You want, cry. You want to cry. <laughs> Don't worry. You want to cry. You know, so, and then Waje and then Yemi Alade. So, I mean, all of those people, all of those people having um, been my celebrity judges are amazing performers and um, they they injected their bits in my singing and in my um, outlook generally as an artist. So, I mean, to be very honest, ev uh, for every other, and I love corporate events so much. I love weddings, okay. but I love corporate events so much. Like, you know, imagine, so I did a, I did a, I did an event with YouTube last year, December, mm -hmm. and it was people from different countries mm -hmm. and having to appeal and, you know, so, Mm. It, I, I had come with some of the things I learned on mm -hmm. you know, the, voice the voice to like, okay, how do I appeal to this white person? How do I appeal to this black person? How do I appeal to this Senegalese? How do I appeal to this Kenyan person? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. So performance and um, um, personality, uh, awesomeness actually mm -hmm. does it for me. Yeah. Wow. But you know, we always have conversations on this show about how reality shows just bring really talented singers. They come, mm -hmm. they perform, they give us an entertaining two, three months. After that, it will be. Mm -hmm. So how has The Voice Nigeria propelled your career? Like, do you think that after the show, there have been things that the organizers of this talent show has done for you guys, especially the finalists, you know? Oh, um, so um, being on The Voice Nigeria has um, propelled me um, to a point where I'm more visible, you know, to the uh, not just to the nation but to the um, globe at large. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, 
people who appreciate the kind of music I do, I, I do R&B and soul. Mm, nice. I do infusions into Afro too. Mm. You get so, but people who appreciate what I do would definitely want to have a taste of it in every sense. The Voice Nigeria has done its um, very best in putting me on that on that platform, on that pedestal, on that point where you know yeah, I'm visible. able, yeah, I'm able to reach out more. I mean, mm -hmm. they wouldn't. Um, they wouldn't carry a, a shovel full of food and then put it in my mouth. You can't do small spoons and yeah. then I get to cook some on my own and yeah. then, you know, that. Too Hot to Handle returns to Netflix for season four. So on Too Hot to Handle, if you're a very, um, what's it called, social media savvy, you should have heard this statement, this audio that goes, um, a hot new bombshell enters the villa. <laughs> That's from Too Hot to Handle. So what they do basically is they bring very hot people who believe in the hookup culture. So people, you know, some people who, who believe that their bodies should be, should only be, what's the word now? Give me the word for this. Should only be wash, wash, mm. rush, rub, rub, caress mm. in a relationship. Mm. Oh, really? Right. There's some people who believe that those things should only happen in a relationship. Mm. While there are people who believe that you don't need feelings to have fun with someone else with your body. Mm. So they bring in 10 people, five guys, five girls, who believe that the hookup culture is the best way to go when it comes to having sex and having fun. I don't have to have feelings for you. You don't need to have feelings. Let's just shoot the shot. Yes. Oh. But then the coolest part of this show is that they have this mindset that people who are of this school of thought are dealing from a place of trauma. Cool. So definitely they believe that it's a traumatic experience that leads you here. So what they do is they bring them on the show, make them think they're coming to one of those shows where they just have fun, hook up and everything. And then after a few hours, from 24 to 48 hours, they announce to you that you're on Too Hot to Handle where you're not allowed to kiss, you're not allowed to make out, you're not allowed to have sex, you're not allowed to masturbate, you're not allowed to do... You're not allowed to touch yourself. You're not allowed to touch yourself. You're not supposed to have any sexual pleasure. Any sexual you, pleasure you, at you must all. all. Orgasm, but can you fantasize in your head, Shadika? So long as it's not showing in your face. Because at this point... Do you know that you know, you know, you know, you know, people have orgasms without being touched? How is that possible? Okay, but moving on, moving on. They, let me tell us. I've, 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 sure read, tell us. I've read something like that. Okay, thank you. Please, Debbie and Femi, tell us how. No, 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 Debbie and Femi. There's no Debbie and Femi here. Debbie, Femi, how? But wait, but wait. But I'm, I'm being very honest. So how to, you, if Debbie I've tells you. Uh, how do you orgasm without? I know, I've seen it. I've, I'm I've, telling I've you. I've read the story. What do they do? No, no, it's just the body. It's so intense. So when they think about it, that part is so. Yeah. Don't you think that that's a mental problem? It's so aroused. It's not a mental problem. I'm trying to wrap my mind around it. Oh, honestly, you read up about, read up about it. Do you know that yeah. well, it's like you know where people have wet dreams, but this one they're awake. They're awake. So they literally orgasm. People have wet dreams. Guy, you have home. spiritual husband or spiritual mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, 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 how far do you think you're gonna go before you get kicked out? And you have your type in the house, so and they will be wearing bikinis and throwing mm. parties for you guys and stuff. Mm. And we would not, um, we would not be able to yeah. touch each other. Yeah, no, no, no. Is your body not a temple? <laughs> and I'm just saying, no, no, I'm just saying. So there's, I mean, there's something called the air gate, the eye gate, and the mind what gate. What's the air gate and eye gate? I said gate. it's spiritual. <laughs> no, 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 highly no, spiritual. So wait, what's there's the air gate? Or your yeah. So there is the air gate. What's the air gate? Hear no evil. Oh. There's the eye gate. See, I, no know, I know evil. I know evil. <laughs> What's the mind gate? You feel no evil. Mind, mind no evil. <laughs> mind no evil. What's the oh, mind let gate? Let me finish, though. I have, I have a word for you. What's the mind gate, Dako? <laughs> I have Teach a word for you. There's the mind gate. What's the mind gate? Feel no evil, mind no evil, like, think no evil. Think no evil. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you guys the gist of, so this is two to handle. So there's two to handle, the American one. The American one has people from different countries, so people from England, Australia, whatever. Then they start to handle Brazil, they start to handle Latina. Handle Brazil. Latina too hot nice. to handle Brazil has Crazy. to be the best too hot to handle ever. So this new season that is out, season two of Too Hot to Handle Brazil, there's a couple there. The money that's supposed to be won is $500,000. There's a couple there, only them spent over $310,000. They had mm -hmm. sex, obviously. They had sex. Mm -hmm. And it was not just the sex, they did 
everything everything Every so they told them three so their money went down from 500k mm. to less than so they went home with how much they, I, i'm not done watching yet so but as it is, stands right now the 500k they have just 80k on the episode that so i'm this on this is a collective yes. this is the money home. for I this is money for everybody it's money for everybody yeah. Yeah. so it's money for everybody but each season does it differently so the last season of too hot to handle they gave it to the winners who didn't last past one week after the show by the way mm. but then on the show they acted like they were really in love mm. and everything but the <laughs> season before the last season they split the money for everyone mm. so we when we're watching we don't know how the money is mm. going to be handled mm. but we just know that the money is there so it's either they give it to the winning couple mm. or they split it for everyone but that one couple the spent three, three or something over thousand. three hundred thousand mm. dollars how, how long is the show for those ones can never why be they just wait? why couldn't they just wait till the end of the show and have all the sex because around? they've not built genuine connection exactly that's it so once they build and when you watch the show once the couple actually Builds genuine connection. You will see that they start spending. The no, money. they're not spending the money. You see that those things will not even be on your mind because ah. there's a oh. no, no, no. There's because a, there's a, a, no, there's a watch. Can there's I, a watch I, I, that um, what's it called? Too hot handle gives them that watch. It turns green whenever they feel like a genuine connection happens. So if me and Dako, for example, have been on the show and we've built a genuine connection, we could be together just talking about something random and the watch will pop up so see we green. could make out or do whatever. Say green. 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 How, how, how long? How long? <laughs> see green watch. The, the green lasts for a green couple flag, of minutes. Like okay, so you can, green you can make out. Yeah, for you it. can make out for as long as that green. What's, yeah, so what if you're having the stuff and then it turns red? You stop. If you continue, you lose money. Approve. On this episode of 90 Day Fiance, Usman finally agrees to adopt his nephew as his own <laughs> in order to protect his marriage. Mm, these people again. Debbie, please. Eh? Oh, how your brothers do it? My bro- <laughs> your brother is <laughs> his name. What's his name? Like, He's OG Carol. These guys are, these are, these are, are OG, OG Carol family members. <laughs> <laughs> these are OG Carol's people. Because <laughs> this guy is beyond me. Like, it's beyond what they have going on together is beyond my capacity. Oh, Lord. I mean, the, what, what the show tells you is that there's no. But uh, there's no age peg, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm looking right with to find the love. Age bracket? Yeah. Age bracket. There's no age, whatever, to find the love. Because when you get to 50, you can't find true love. Are you sure? You but understand? then you're 50, you're dating a 20 something year old. So you see, in the, the name heart of wants love. love. I know, right? I don't even have issues with that one. Well, my issue is their yeah, personality but... clashing. Their, the their personality, personality must clash. clash. No, no, no. Because no, of the age of the age. Because that, that lady is, is old enough to be small. Two people yeah. that are 20 year olds still have personalities that will clash. But it's clash. not going to be as deep as this one. Because she's looking at him like her son. Yeah. Exactly. This is really deep. It's not making sense to her. Same way she's not making any sense to him. So he wants to adopt his brother's child. Well, see, yeah. for two of them, Emmanuel Macron, mm. France president, he did it. Yeah, and he succeeded has, yes. for him. And his, and his stepson what is older I, than him. The fact what that he's I, a president yeah, does so, not validate it. No, not, no, no, I'm saying like that's a prime example, somebody that's so visible. You know, in the public eye. And he guy. married his teacher. And, yeah, married his teacher. And the age gap is so weird. Way. 65, 41. That sounds so weird. Like, you were crushing your teacher. Even the teacher that allowed herself eventually come back to date the guy. Hello. When he left, he just felt like, this is a goal of mine. This is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. And he went and for asked it. Her out. And after he left school, after, after he left school, After he left school, though. Oh, so well, but how sure are we that was after he left school? Well, that's between the two of them. That's what they told us. Yeah, and you have to believe them. what they told you. But it's you working for them. They're still together. There's things that go on before the But actual. that's where you can't assume. You, can, you don't have a clear picture of what happened. I still feel so personality. So you have to stay with the information you have. There are some people, to be honest, there are some people, they have this old soul in them, and they're young. And there are some guys, trust me, they are 90, and they still don't have sense. Facts. Uh-huh. No, personally, so, though, I, I used to be attracted to older people. Like how older? Uh, 10, 20 years? No, that, no. <laughs> Like five, five, Mac. Five, yeah. Five, have you dated yeah. one before? Have you dated one? Before? That's him saying yes now. She said yes. That's so this. did did that play a part? The age? Um. Well, I think it was more personality um, compatibility. Yeah, but sometimes when the age difference is um pretty, you know, obvious. Yeah, it can be awkward. But I would not yeah. speak for anybody, and I would not dictate um, anybody's emotions. Yeah, true. Or so them. Was there any time she like babied you around? Disrespected you, babied you, you due to the age difference? There was no disrespect, but, but um, I mean, personally, I I feel like dating older ladies. I mean, they treat you like 
a baby, so, they baby you in the sense and they take care of you and stuff like so that. So does it mean that men who like older women have mommy issues? Do you have mommy issues? No, no. So, so I, I feel like there should be no age is a number, but at the same time, you want to put it into, you want to factor it into the equation yes, of a yes, relationship. Because as you grow, I, I would say that a 25 year old guy and a 19 year old lady are age mates. Mm. The mm. lady matures on the streets. On the street, she's, yeah, she's a 19 year old lady girl oh, and no. 25 year old guy. No. No, I don't think so. See, a I lot of people, honestly, a lot of people. Um, Are you serious? Yeah, it's because the lady will mature oh, faster. Oh, see, oh, the ladies oh, of what nowadays. Do call, what do you call maturity? Is it because she's she has body? No, 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 not no, that. No, no exposure. See, exposure to what? Exposure to what? That's not maturity. Girl, you're a 19 year old child. That's not maturity. You. An 18 year old girl is almost being asked out by a 35 year old. That's not maturity. I'm not saying it's maturity. I'm saying it's been asked out, and some of them in their probably I don't know or probably in their sense of wanting to explore, they give in. But it doesn't make what they are They're doing right. And and trust me, those what, what's not right so about much ask, mistakes. What's not right about her being asked out at 18? A 19-year-old. Hello, she's legal. That's her business. She's legal. That's, that's a that's child. We're Come saying on. she's oh, legal, but that doesn't make her mature. Yeah. Let me tell you, when you sample the marriages out there today, mm -hmm. most of the men are either five, six, seven years older than the woman. Mm -hmm. And when they're going to talk to the guy, that will be... See, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. There is that... Yes, so we're not saying 15 year old. Yeah, you see, every man or woman, a typical Nigerian marriage, mm -hmm. you see the guy is six years older than the girl, but the girl still sees him as my my guy. I go draw your baby, and that's what we're saying. So the level of how do you mean? See, that's the point. How that's why you, you you referencing that, a 19 year yeah. old. So you can make you can make this your statement with an with a mature girl, a, an old girl with an older guy. That makes more sense. But when you start talking See, about 19 year old, 18 year olds, then the conversation so, so, changes. So this, is always, so this is always it's not it different. does change. I'm gonna, I'm a 19 gonna, year old and an 18 year old dating somebody six years older than her. It's not the same thing with a 25 year old dating somebody six years older than her. Wait, 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 wait. How old was this? But life experiences. There are some 25 year old guys. They've seen more than a 40. Year old. Facts. So it's you can't put facts. an age to yeah, life facts. experience. Did I mention facts. exposure at some point or not? Exposure, yeah. Yeah, so what you have been exposed to would dictate or determine what you have seen. Either yeah. shaggy or unshaggy. Oh, yes. but, uh, but at 18, <laughs> but at 18, it's That's too much one. to place that assumption. <laughs> you are dating, you see an 18 year old, you just I say because they're yes, she's as No, 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 no,
But this one will see, you're going to go home. Forget about the fact that we're here on the show. Mm. Forget, see, we, we love each other, fine. What is this show? I don't think Groovy, I think it was too early for Groovy to feel that way yeah. about her. With the whole yeah. craze that she yeah. It was just week was two, bro. Early, yeah. Maybe well, later on you could have calmed down, but at that point. Sometimes it's not a function of time. It's also a function of you being within four walls, four close walls with a particular being. Mm. There is a sense, yeah, there's a sense of there's no world outside of here. Especially when you have everything you need provided in that mm. same space. Mm. The reason the reason I said time was they had just entered the house. I don't think, and he had seen other women, yeah. and one in particular that he liked. I don't think he was ready to just cave in to what she was demanding. I don't think... Maybe if Groovy had seen this yeah, because even he outside. said Because even he said that if Chomsky had been in that house, he would have gone for, gone for her. Mm. So for, for him but to, to be very point. honest, I think that if Groovy had seen the, this picture of beauty after the show, mm. he would stick with this girl. <laughs> I see few persons so you think, so you think men, men prefer... You know, men will say, oh, they want peace. Yeah. Men don't want, want violence. Men want so violence. They actually want violence. They want violence always. No, no, men don't want violence always. We need to look into your philosophy. I swear. <laughs> men want peace. <laughs> men like violence. See, I see. see. Look, you like what happens. See, see. not violence. Maybe good Realize drama. That. Good drama. Yeah. Good drama. Good drama. Do you know what good drama has? Do you know what good drama has? Chaos. Tears. That's serious? what makes good drama, Debbie. Mm. No. Chaos. Tears. So what's good drama? Sweat. No, what's good drama? Confusion. That is good. When you're watching a movie and it's good drama, these are the feelings you would have. So what is no, good drama? What's good drama? No, what's, what's good drama? Good drama is just the fact that every woman comes to drama. What's the drama? But, but at the same time, mm. it's something that it's also... It's so, tameable. Yeah. So yeah. You, know, you just look like it's drama. Basically, but, you want to eat your cake and have it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want a crazy person they can't control. Yeah, eat but your cake and have it. can't control oh. crazy people. So men, like no, they like it. They like it. Let's always. Finally, we have the Battle of the Sounds contest, where music and arts become a contest by residents of a local community with the aim of promoting communal unity. Our commentators definitely have one or two things to say about this show of talent. <laughs> That way, you should train this guy. You should reach out to him. Blend what do you think that guy needs? He needs control. He needs placement. Control placement. He needs to know when to let it all out and when not to let it out. When to just be conservative with his um, pronunciation and um, you know, enunciation and all that. But his tone seems, um, it's, his tone seems workable. Yeah. Mm. And he's not singing with his nose. Yeah. He's not singing with his nose. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Music is an art, mm. and being an art, that means it has different forms of, of expression. Mm. That means different people have different things they are trying to address in their heads. Mm. That's why there's a playlist for, there's a playlist for maybe, okay, there, there, I think at some point I drafted a playlist for cramps mm. for my girlfriend at that time. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, so, that is yes. the cutest thing a guy has yeah. ever done. Please share with them. My watch is turning green. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, but there are different things. And if I want to dance, I, I'm definitely not listening listening to um Timmy Dakolo. Mm-hmm. If I really just want to lose it all, if I, if I just want to be in a space where okay, I just want to be on my own. There's a kind of a music. So basically, you're to. saying that everyone's music serves serves its purpose. Actually, so but mm-hmm. the people that have access to the funds that push their music to the global scene mm-hmm. happen to be the people that are you know yeah. So we've come to that point of the show where we get. To ask you a question or if you're lucky you find uh, something something exciting for you to work with first you need to pick GX440 sorry just Um, pick I I think I'm going to see a GX440 it could be it could be and there's a pack of water there land in Banana Island (laughs) choose wisely just go for it Mm. in the name of okay good choice I don't know what Uh, (laughs) Baba Um, that's land in Banana Island Man Island. <laughs> All right, there you go. Open up, please, and read out what's on it. Set open and up of my spirit. Open up. Open up. <laughs> now they're yeah. opened up. Sounds very exciting. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. <clears throat> so it's undisputable that you're so talented and you have a smooth voice. Which of the musicians do people say your voice sounds like? Okay. Mm. Good, good one. Yeah. Who do you think it sounds like? 
who do you think you sound like? <laughs> Am I supposed to, is this my turn? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's your voice. Yeah. So, who do you think you sound like? My music director um, in Harvesters would tell me that I have a lot of voices. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and I, I can actually sound like. You go to Harvesters. Oh yes, I do. Oh, we go to the same church. Oh, what? Pastor B rapping. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving so, um, on. Uh, uh, but I would say the very top on my list All is James members. Arthur. James Arthur. Yes. You think oh. you sound like James Arthur? Ah well, there. Are, I don't um, think you sound like James Arthur. Oh yeah, if I want to go there, you would not okay. even. Okay. All right, it's time for Dakota to sing for us. And let's see if you sound and like James we'll Arthur. Be, he'll be singing. Say he won't let go. No, no, like no. James Arthur. <laughs> I knew I loved you then. You never know. He sounds like him. So what is the what, what is the dark of voice though? What what would you say is your voice? Okay, so my, my sound is um, so 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 something like um let me change key. Yeah. Okay. Um, this this yeah. song will just embarrass me with lyrics tonight. Yeah, yeah. Do not Are you demodulating? Is not the girl now. Hmm? Are you demodulating? Yeah, uh, 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 modulation, modulation. Do not give, like give, like give, like give us the dark okay. Okay. Yeah, with the essence, not the dark essence. Yeah. Yeah. And if I ever come across a girl like you, mm -hmm. I don't know if I will let my emotions show. Mm -hmm. I'll just look the other oh, way. I don't <laughs> care what you might say, cause I'm <laughs> not so sure how much of this mm -hmm. my heart can take. Why did you do oh. that? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Nice, and nice. Girl, so and cool. the award goes to. That that one. One. Open up, open up. Open up. Up. There's something inside. Get something in your hands. Oh, oh, this is huge. Bring it out. Bring let's, see. let's see. Let's see. Okay, so I think I just. What's inside? <laughs> Aww. This works with his outfit. It's purple. Shout out. Yes, love it. So well yeah. Shout out. The outfit. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. Awesome. Um, so, uh, I mean, thank you, Reality Check. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, everybody, thank you so much. Um, it's been a beautiful thing doing, you know, the show we yeah. We love having you. Thank and you that's so the show much. We have for you today. We'll see you again next week on TVC. Mwah. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.